wash my hands, help mommy and dad. Wake up in the morning, I feel great. Hello, today. Somerville families. We are thinking of you and hope that you are doing okay in these confusing and uncertain days. Many of you are struggling to figure out how to juggle work and having children home. Schools and organizations in Somerville are sending activities and suggestions home, and we've heard that sometimes it just feels like a lot. Some of you said you aren't sure how much to do. You are your child's first teacher, but doing school at home is not necessarily what you planned for. Some of you have teachers sending you activities. Some might be on your own. Either way, just follow the directions for the activities and they should work. Your child is probably going to recognize some of them and may already be an expert at them. Just choose a few to try. Stop when your child seems tired or all done. If you do not get them all finished, that is fine. You are a good judge of what is working for your child and your family. Short, successful experiences are more powerful than something long and tiresome. Have a special place to keep the materials a child may need to do school at home, whether activities a teacher sends or something you think your child will like. This can be a box or a basket or just a spot on a shelf. Make sure that your child can reach it and knows where it is. Even a box of pull-ups and a small end table can be a great workspace. Perfect. Another suggestion that we know can help children feel safe and secure are adding some structure and routines to their days. This does not need to be rigid. An example of a routine would be, wake up and get dressed, eat breakfast, clear the table, and brush teeth, playtime inside, outside time, snack. If certain activities take longer or shorter time periods on different days, that's okay. Using the sequence offers predictability that feels safe and supportive for young children. Young children learn a lot from helping with routines at home, like cooking, cleaning, and laundry. Being a member of a family and a community involves both doing nice things for other people and receiving kindness from others. Your children can help with chores at home, like picking up toys and putting them away, or putting out the cups and plates needed for a meal, or folding laundry, or caring for plants. By sharing in the work of family life, they learn how all tasks are important and valued. They develop a sense of pride in helping out. Literacy skills like matching are part of folding laundry. Ask your preschooler to match the socks when you're sorting laundry. Preparing meals involves skills in many areas, including math. When you are cooking, show your child the different measuring tools like cups and spoons. Washing a sink with ditch detergent and a sponge offers both a wonderful sensory experience of water, bubbles, and rubbing. This can be very calming, especially if the water is warm. Finding time to get outside is important for everyone's physical and mental health. Planting a bean and watching it grow can give you something to look forward to and learn about how things grow and change. Play and learning go hand in hand, so when you're play camping or doing Legos, Kids are learning. We know that while there is a difference between home and school, important learning happens in both places. At home, children are learning crucial skills about being part of a family and a community, helping with chores and other household tasks, practicing being flexible when things don't go as planned, communicating feelings and understanding what other people are feeling are all powerful lessons. So is learning to stay healthy by eating a balanced diet getting enough sleep, and washing hands frequently. If you're interested in finding more activities to try at home, click on this link and explore what we have posted. Let's jump, jump.